Hello, everyone. Um, greeting from Las Vegas. And my name is Supavadi Aramvit, and I am from Chua Long Khorn University, Bangkok, Thailand, and the uh, member of the Board of Governor of ITRE Consumer Electronics Society. So today, I have a uh, very honor to will, we will interview Dr. Saraju Mohanty. So he is the ITRE Consumer Electronics Magazine editor and the keynote speaker of the ICCE 2019. And so welcome, Dr. Saraju. Thank you for the kind introduction. It was an honor to be a keynote speaker at ICC 2019. Okay, so your talk is about the smart cities and I listened to your talk. So many, there are many technological development of the smart city, but mainly for the developed city or the formal city in, in, in your slide. So can you, can you give us like, uh, how about the smart city challenges okay, in the less developed city or informal city? Yeah, so what, what do you think about that? That's yeah. a very interesting question. So let me rephrase the question a little bit. So we are talking about the technology which uh, uh, design and operation cost, cost point of view is uh, high and uh, uh, um, basically the established cities can afford that uh, versus mm -hmm. the, uh, what kind of technology we can use where uh, design and operation cost has to be minimal. That is how I will differentiate technically. So that is a very difficult problem. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, and. Uh, uh, for the low cost design of smart city and so on, uh, I have heard of uh, uh, the idea of what we call a smart village. Right. Okay? So that means what technology we can use uh, for the areas where uh, the technology is not affordable. So let me give an example. Suppose uh, uh, technology point of view, we can have 5G mm -hmm. in a, um, a bigger cities where uh, design and operation cost can be more mm -hmm. versus uh, we can use a low cost technology like LoRa and uh, Sigfox, so those kind of technology in a smart village or a mm -hmm. um, community where design and operation cost has to be minimal. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we can have those. So then uh, uh, like it, it is always a design and operation cost trade up. Okay? So uh, tech alternative technology we have to use so that smart villages also can be established with uh, minimal effort and uh, uh, like uh, uh, communities in fact uh, where uh, in in, uh, in urban area where the cost of living is low because of uh, uh, supporting population and so on, th that area definitely needs a technology uh, which has to be cheaper so that people can afford. I see. Because I think the, the main difference of the developer city and less developed city is mainly about the infrastructure. Right. Like for example of the communication or like the, the road or something, mm -hmm. transportation, something like that. Exactly. So right, so we have to have different different type of things so that uh, uh, like uh, low cost as well as high cost both uh, uh, can be supported. Okay, so uh, like uh, so as I said, let's communication one key point, right? Uh, what communication we can use? Uh, probably uh, in the informal side, we have to have low cost, uh, low bandwidth is okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the high end side, like uh, high speed and high bandwidth uh, that people can afford, uh, th that is more advisable. So that we have, we are catering the need of every type of population. I see. So you have have done a lot of research in the the smart city mm -hmm. arena. So what technology do you think like would be the most feasible or like available to use in in the real world? Okay. So I think uh, smart healthcare mm -hmm. is one, followed by smart transportation. Those two I, I consider like, are, are very important and really uh, there is a need also. Okay, coming to the smart healthcare uh, first, uh, like if we see everybody uh, I see around has some sort of uh, uh, smart health device. For example, a activity tracker to start with is in itself mm. is a smart health device where we are keeping track of our activities. Okay, mm. then maybe uh, like uh, exercise level and so on, right? Mm. And then uh, so that itself is an is an example where we are using. That, that's important. Uh, what you can say, smart city component we can say, or healthcare component we can say. Mm. And uh, but those devices also have uh, their own accuracy problems. Okay, okay. for example, I myself use a smart tracker where it cannot distinguish uh, the difference between vibration of a car versus my walking. Mm. So uh, probably we can have uh, better data analytics along with the sensor so that mm. their accuracy level can improve. Yeah. 
then uh, coming to the smart uh, transportation, uh, I see lot of people use the term autonomous driving, driverless car and yeah. so on, but that is uh, still a long way to go. Oh, okay, we still do not have a matured driverless technology that can make us what we call as a level 5 smart car. That means completely managing itself. Okay, even the level four is still on the research phase. Okay, so we are still in. I would say optimistically, level 2.5. We are exactly right now. So from level 2.5 to go to level five is, uh, I think, is a 20-year uh, basically what you can say work that is that needs to be done. I see. Yeah. So I think about the the smart transportation. Uh, I believe uh, maybe the solving the traffic. Okay. Right, so traffic is another aspect, another aspect definitely that is very interesting uh, question, okay. Uh, how we manage the traffic, okay, um, while taking care of the vehicles, along with the safety of the pedestrians uh, who are walking on the uh, street and so on, okay. So those uh, in um, need to be addressed as well. And uh, better traffic management, okay. And uh, rather in the traffic, I also think another aspect, for example, uh, you are stuck in a traffic and they are uh, a natural calamity like uh, earthquake and other things happen okay how do you can divert traffic okay and uh, those i see and the flooding situation also can happen how do you uh, have a good traffic control when there is flood in certain part of city mm -hmm. so those are important problems uh, in the part of uh, transportation as well i see and i think it is important because one, one important thing about the infrastructure of the smart city is also the input data so something like the sensor right. yeah so today there are many development of the sensor mm -hmm. so what do you think about like now we have so many cameras sure. and i think maybe some some other like the the, the medical device and so on so so do you think the de development the pace of development of the sensor and the current platform of the smart city. So you think how that keep up together? That's a very good question. So the way I see sensors are now uh, are of large variety. We have a lot of sensors. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, the, those sensors can go to the camera or implantable device to so many things uh, are varieties, uh, or it can be a sensor in a car, right? Mm -hmm. So many things are there or even environmental control sensors. So sensors are plenty available, but what is important problem is gathering the data out of all the sensors mm -hmm. okay so first we are get, gathering data then retrieve information out of those sensors mm -hmm. okay that is where the problem lies mm -hmm. uh, actually okay that is uh, how we get the uh, gather the data and retrieve information whether all the data may not be got good data okay and uh, information information retrieval is actually is much more problem and in uh, let's say smart city context for example let's say you have deployed thousands of sensors in thousand different locations to for water management for air quality management uh, let's say for example then uh, how do you get all the data and then you anal analyze the data and uh, make some sense out of it those are important problems and again how in uh, let's say in a smart city healthcare domain for example uh, important is not just the retrieval of information also how do you keep it private Okay, how do you store it securely so the privacy privacy is maintained and nobody can uh, take the data from the uh, from the uh, storage and so on. Those are also important problems. I see. So I believe once we have the or the smart city technology, what is more important is also the amount of the data right. that has been generated from the sensor and and on the right. on the system. Right. So data analytic, you think it will become it will very be very important right. because we get information through the uh, analytics. Other data is uh, just data, it does not make sense to do anything uh, or any use unless we have information uh, retrieved out of the data. I see. Yes. So, yeah, I think we, we are in the research in this <laughs> consumer electronics, so we play uh, a lot of important roles, right, in the advancement of the, of the smart cities. Yeah. So, do you have any, any last word to, to the audience? about the, the technological development of the smart city. Okay. So the way I would say we have uh, certain uh, achievements. We have done some uh, level of, so we have got some level of success in uh, having some smart cities around the planet. And uh, uh, US, uh, some cities are doing very well in terms of becoming smart cities. Europe, Asia, for example, Singapore and uh, Hong Kong. Then I was in uh, other part of uh, cities in India, like for example, in uh, the city that uh, I was born, right, called Bhubaneswar, that is a very important city in uh, India to, uh, for smart cities uh, initiatives. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so, a lot of uh, successes are there, okay, but we have a long way to go before we can have uh, what we, I would say multiple component of city who are smart. Okay, which as we just discussed, we can healthcare component, transportation component, infrastructure component, okay, all these are uh, there, but uh, how we can have a lot of those components so that overall uh, we have a very good smart city. And most importantly, uh, like uh, uh, every home, okay, uh, unless we are smart at every home, okay, in terms of uh, how we use our appliances, okay, how we use our lights and so on. Okay, we cannot achieve a global scale a smart city because uh, uh, citizen involvement mm -hmm. in uh, being aware okay, in uh, their own day to day life, okay, how they can they have uh, they are using their appliance uh, and so on. We unless we are careful, we cannot have a smart city uh, really achieved. Okay, so we, we so the bottom line is we have some way achieved some a lot of success, but we have to have we have long way to go to have uh, far effective and many more. Uh, smart cities the way uh, that as we discussed that is in 2025 we have 50 percent population and 2050 70 percent population going to live in urban areas so that is a huge it is like 7, um, uh, 70 percent of 7 billion so we are talking about 5 billion population uh, closely living in urban area so it is a significant problem that we need to solve okay thank you for having me and I hope you liked uh, the keynote and uh, we will have further discussions in some other forum thank you Okay, so thank you very much, Dr. Sergio, for giving us like a very nice uh, talk and information inside after the keynote talk. Yeah, okay, thank you.